Welcome, my friends of the interwebs. Um, a lot of people have asked me for updates on my thumb, so <laughs> I thought I'd go ahead and give you the, uh, I guess, the mother of all updates as far as how this thumb is uh, progressing. I, for the life of me, can't even remember how long it's been messed up. Seems like forever. Uh, by the way, I'm going to post this on either my MBV channel or my Kernel channel or my uh, underground channel, whatever, whichever one I'm logged into at the time. Um, <clears throat> just a heads up, if medical stuff disturbs you, just don't watch this video. If you're truly interested in seeing this, then check it out. Um, it's a lot better. It looks a lot better. I don't think in the end it's going to be as bad as I originally feared it would be. Uh, but you know what? In the comments section, let me know what you think. You know, when this first happened, you know, there was so much blood. And I mean, I, I, oh my God. And then even when I went to my surgeon's office for the first time, it still looked pretty bad. But now, I got to be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to look like a freak. <laughs> there, nobody's going to be calling me stubby, I don't think. Anyway, I'm going to do a, a bandage change. I'm going to actually change this bandage out, and I'm going to give you a close-up of the thumb. So, just so you know what you're what you're getting for, let me let me, you know what you know what's about to go down. So I don't want to hear any crying, whining, bitching, and moaning. Now, me personally, I don't think it looks bad, but you know what? Compared to what it did look like, it does look pretty good. So I don't know. Um, I used to have a nurse that came over every day, and she would change this out. But you know what? Now uh, I can do it. It's not really painful anymore. Um, it was just you know at first it was horribly painful. So anyway. I'm going to take this off. This will just pull off, believe it or not. This will pull off, and then I'm going to put new uh, a new dress. This stuff here, this medicated petroleum dressing, um, it's not really easy to find, but if you find a place that has it, the stuff is not cheap. It's only, I think it's a little less than three bucks, uh, and this is the shit. This really is. This basically replaces your skin um, while your uh, your wound is healing. And um, it's just amazing. It's it's got some kind of a antibiotic uh, something or another <laughs> in petroleum. Well, we all know that's you know that's basically um, uh, just petroleum jelly. Um, but anyway, you'll see uh, this stuff here is awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, the reason I bring this up, by the way, if you have a wound like Ironhead Forty One had an open wound, this is the kind of stuff you want to put on your open wound and change it every day until the skin closes up. It'll keep it from getting infected, and it and it will accelerate uh, the, um, the 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 skin growing process. So, okay, you guys ready? <laughs> it's almost three minutes in. You're probably like, oh, get it over with. All right, here we go. Hopefully, this comes right off. It should come out. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let me get some light on this. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if that's going to work well. Damn it! I was thinking I would. The lighting is not great. In fact, it is what it is. But, um, yeah, you can see where, if I can, let me get a blade. Kershaw for the win. Um, you can see where the knife went in there. Let me get this back a little bit. In there, and went towards the nail. So it took that big chunk off. It took that big chunk off there. So, and I know this isn't really, I guess I could remove, uh, see that's actually skin. I don't know how sterile, uh, there we go. I might as well just let it fall off. There we go, big chunk of, I guess scab or whatever it is. Um, yeah, I mean there's a bit, there's a divot there, but it's not anywhere near as bad as I had originally thought. So, it's going to have a little bit of a curve. Um, but I mean, you know, really? I mean, you yeah, I mean, you can, you know, you can tell this one's been whacked off, but for the most part, I mean, you'd have to really stare at it, I think. <laughs> I think you'd have to really really stare at it to be able to go, dude, that thumb don't look right. <laughs> you know? So, hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. Seriously, let me let me let me know what you think. I think it's making a hell of a comeback. All right, well, let's get this thing bandaged up. This isn't the most sterile environment I could have came up with, but it is what it is. And you know, by the way, funny enough, there are people who really miss this bench. <laughs> I can't obviously do any gun cleaning videos right now because 
of this. Um, you know, sorry about that. Let's see if that works a little bit better. I'll be curious to see once I see this how it works out because I know the lighting is not really great in here. Um, wait, you know what? Let's hit it with a strobe. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, but you know, yeah. I'll be doing some gun clean videos. I just, I, at some point, I'll be able to put a rubber glove on. All right, anyway, um, let's get this started. Let's get this party started. Uh, here we go. This stuff comes in a sheet. By the way, you should get some of this for your bug out bag or for your uh, I, or your uh, IFAC. Um, now, I use it double thick. I, you don't have to. You can actually separate part of it. But I'll be honest with you, it's so damn cheap, what the hell. But the way it works is, you just lay it, and it actually feels pretty good when it goes on. You just lay it right on top of the wound, just like that. See? And that literally will, will help you tremendously. So for three bucks, hell, get a couple of these and put them. I plan on getting a bunch of them and just keep them around. Definitely worth having, for sure. Okay, so, then normally what I do is I take one of these gauze pads and wrap it like that. And I uh, I just take this and just kind of wrap it around. Now, of course, you know I'll probably end up screwing this up because I've got people watching. But um, I wrap it around like that. And then, I break pre-cut some tape and I just tape that probably not necessary to have two pieces of tape on here but I like it to feel somewhat secure I did screw that up a little bit but that's okay then what I do typically I should have another piece of tape another piece of tape out here okay then what I do is I take this gauze, all right, and I and I take it like this, and I put it there, and I wrap it over like that, okay, <clears throat> and it'll kind of stick. And then I, because <laughs> I've because I've got people watching, I'm telling you. And then I just kind of make a, a turn, okay, just like that. Now I don't need a ton anymore because it's it's pretty sealed up. So, you know, no sense in blowing supplies. And then I just take it, wrap the bandage around it, or excuse me, wrap the tape around it like that. Or as Ironhead41 would say, like the so. Now this tape here, I, I might hate to use this stuff, but I might try it just once. This is a paper tape, and this stuff kind of blows. It's easy to tear, but it, it doesn't stick very well. It kind of sucks. But I don't know it's time, but that'll that'll be good enough. I mean, I you know I don't care that it's not pretty. Um, I could tape that top like that, but it doesn't really have to be because there's already it's already folded over. Um, but that's it. And there you have it. How do you like me now? <laughs> How do you like me now? Um, I don't know. I've got a I've got a um, doctor's appointment on the 29th. I don't know how much longer I'll have to keep a bandage on it. I know that while the wound was still open, it was very, very important. But clearly, now that, you know, scabs are falling off, <laughs> I know you're just thrilled to see that, aren't you? Um, there's, it, there's clearly a, a seal there now, so I wouldn't be surprised. See how this paper tape's coming off? This stuff sucks. I wouldn't be surprised if he tells me... This cloth tape here is pretty good. I wouldn't be surprised if he tells me that I don't need to wrap it anymore. Um, but you know what? The 29th will be here soon enough, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep doing this until he tells me not to. So I'm guessing on the 29th he'll probably tell me that I don't really need to do this anymore. At least I hope because it's it, kind of a pain in the butt. It's not a horror. I mean, I've believe me, I've been through worse shit. But... Um, <laughs> it looks pretty. It doesn't look good, but trust me when I tell you, it, it's fine. Um, I'm just I'm sick of doing this, to be honest with you. And you know, it's it's kind of like um, I don't know. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm just over it. 
I am glad though that things are healing up and they are looking, in my opinion at least, much better than I really ever would have thought, to be honest with you. When that first happened, there was so much freaking blood. I, I swear to you, it was it was a very traumatic issue. And the pain, that nerve pain, holy crap. Anyway, listen, that's all I got for you guys. Let me know in the comment section what you think. And uh, also, hey, if you want, uh, take your uh, best uh, guess uh, and uh, let me know if you think on the 29th the doctor's going to tell me I don't have to keep wrapping it. So we'll see. Anyway, everybody take care. See ya!